CDPR warns investors to temper expectations for Cyberpunk 2077 on next gen, so let's take a closer look. Hey everyone, and welcome to my Cyber Outlaw Punk 2077 channel. Hope you're all having a preen day or night, depending on when and where you're watching this. If you're new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Cyberpunk 2077 and everything of the Cyberpunk genre. And if you enjoy the video or just found it helpful, then please leave a like and a comment as it really helps the channel. Or if you didn't enjoy for any reason, then also please give feedback so I can make the channel better. Also click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload. Right now all that's out the way, let's move on to the article posted by GameRant. CDPR warns investors to temper expectations for Cyberpunk 2077 on next gen. As ever, the only time we really hear any Cyberpunk 2077 quotes of significance from CDPR, it's them talking to investors, so here we go again. Cyberpunk 2077 is planning to release a next-gen version before the end of the year, unless it doesn't and it slips to 2022, though that hasn't officially happened yet. But CDPR is telling investors not to expect wild things to happen in terms of some sort of grand sale turnaround and when that comes out. Here's CEO Adam Kaczynski via Bloomberg. I deeply believe that the game's perception may significantly improve in the future, he said, and that he does not expect a wow effect, but instead a gradual rebuilding of sales. Cyberpunk 2077 appeared to have a brief sales spike when it returned to the PlayStation Store, rocketing up the download charts in that month, but it has since disappeared. CDPR released a few pieces of free DLC for the game, two jackets, a car, and a new bad luck for Johnny, and also a patch that helped increase the visuals of wet surfaces in the game, which did actually make it look a lot better, if I'm being honest. But after that, it's been back to total silence. CDPR's roadmaps for content releases have been nebulous and generally inaccurate, so we have no idea if another dozen or so pieces of free DLC will make it out before the end of the year and some of that is supposed to be significant, like a few new actual missions and a new game plus mode. It may be the logical move to roll up a bunch of free DLC into the next gen release of the game on PS5 and Xbox Series X to make that more of an event for new and returning players, rather than releasing tiny drips of content before then. Then again, if the next gen release is delayed until 2022, it might be nice to have some free DLC in the interim to tie players over. It makes sense that Cyberpunk 2077 would not get a huge sales spike on next gen, not just because of the game's ongoing perception problems, which have certainly not been resolved yet, but also because of a promise they made a long time ago. Next gen upgrades for the game are free. While yes, there are a certain subset of players who both own a next gen console and have opted not to play the last gen version of the game on it, waiting instead for the true new one. Others like me have already played the upconverted PS4 Pro or Xbox One X version on PS5 or Xbox Series X, and if they do pick up a new copy of the next gen version, it's just going to be a free download. On Xbox, it's part of a smart delivery, so it will literally just feel like a patch. My guess is that the only spike we could see with Cyberpunk is when the game releases its first actual DLC, which is being worked on now. Between all the fixes and performance improvements, the next gen version of the game and then a substantive expansion, that could be a moment to drive increased sales of both the original and the DLC, whatever that costs, which is probably between $20 and $40 judging by The Witcher 3 offerings. CDPR also has said that they have learnt lessons from the poor production of Cyberpunk and are trying to rebuild the company for future projects so this doesn't happen again, attempting to hire a lot more people to reduce turnover. A ton of people left after Cyberpunk finished and the company's overall headcount went down. 
you probably will not know how that pans out until CDPR's next big project, which everyone speculates will be a new Witcher game. But Cyberpunk DLC may give us some clues about how things are going before then. Yeah, so I'm not too sure CDPR really needed to warn investors on the next-gen upgrade, because if we the player base knows about it, and surely the investors must have been informed months and months ago that for PS5 and Xbox Series S and X that it will be a free upgrade. So I'm not too sure on this unless the investors were talking on recouping money and they may have mentioned next gen. But it would be a gigantic mistake if suddenly CDPR said, hey guys, I know we said free, but hey to upgrade, it's now going to cost you. There's just no way that would happen. It just seems so out the blue for CDPR to warn the investors when surely they already knew the upgrade was free. And that wraps up the video for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear them. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time in Night City. Catch you later, tunes.